Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Hi, my sweet friends. It's Tanya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by, and I would love it if you consider subscribing. What we're doing today, we are decorating my kitchen in the gingerbread theme for Christmas 2024. Wait to pull out all my gorgeous gingerbread decor that I've collected over the years and strategically place it in this kitchen. So um, I don't have all my gingerbread decor out because I have a lot of it where I've collected it for so long and I think I'm gonna try to spread it through the house, we'll see. So without further ado, let's start decorating this kitchen for Christmas. I thought I'd start in this corner where it's notoriously hard to film because it's kind of in that cove. And I'm going to go in with this beauty. I have my ring lights on, but it's, it's sunny, but yet it's kind of overcast. It's weird, okay? So this right there. I love that. That came from Hobby Lobby years ago. Next, I'm going in with these. I have two of these and I got them at, at home a couple years ago. I'll push one back and pull one forward. I really like to do that. I think it is so pretty. Now here, I'm debating whether to put anything in front of that or not. Um, I don't know, we'll come back to that, okay? Okay, next I'm going in with this little bowl here that I picked up, I think it was at Target's Dollar Spot or at home, I'm not really sure where it was, but I love it and I just have these little fake candies, peppermint candies in there. And I'm just gonna place that right there so that I can still see my painting. I'm loving how this is turning out. All right, I was going to put this in, I think. It lights up. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby years ago. It's a bakery. I think it's really cute. And I'm gonna nest one of these little trees kinda to the back a little bit. And I do like that. I think that's really pretty. Now let's go to the other. Okay, this kitchen window is so hard to film because there's so much light coming in, but I have my Merry Christmas gingerbread sign from Hobby Lobby and two bakers right there. And in person, it's really cute. Now let's go right here. All right, don't forget after Christmas sales, I picked this up last year. It was either Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. It's a beautiful tree and I don't like outlets. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I picked this lovely gingerbread guy up. Look at those little buttons that are just peppermint. I got it at Home Goods this year and I'm just gonna layer these and I think that is precious. Okay, I can't forget my where I keep my soap dispenser. I'm going in with this adorable nutcracker. Is he not so cute? And I'm just gonna pop him right here and he adds a festive collar to this gingerbread kitchen. I think he really pops, especially on that wood. All right, right in here what I want to do, I'm going in with this gingerbread diner. Hobby Lobby once again, years ago, it lights up. I'm just gonna snug that right there for now. Then we're going right here. These trees light up, it's hard to see. Um, I got them years ago from, I think it was QVC, it's Valerie Parr Hill, and I love them. They came in red or green, and I wanted to get the green. They have like a light glitter on them. They're so pretty for a gingerbread kitchen, I think. I'll stick that right there. This one, right here. And then I'm going in with these little people that are Valerie Park Hill as well. All right, here's the dad, isn't he adorable? I always put these with the trees because I think they really go well with it. And here's the mom. And I kind of stagger them in and out. And then there's a boy and a girl. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing and maybe they're gonna to go to the diner next. <laughs> now let's go to the other side of the kitchen. 
All right, I switched out my lamp to this one. It was a Pioneer Woman lamp that I found at Walmart years ago, and I just hot glued one of these. I think this was a Hobby Lobby gingerbread ornament, and I hot glued that on the lamp, and I think it makes a quite nice upgrade to your lamp, okay? So next I'm going in with this, have this for years, gingerbread cookies. I think I picked it up at Michael's years ago. And I'm gonna put it right in here to hide that cord and that outlet. So festive, okay? All right, then behind my stove, I always go in with this, picked it up at Hobby Lobby years ago, gingerbread bakery. I haven't seen this in a long time. I think that just kind of completes that look. Okay, then over here, and you can see my wall color again. I really love it. Now, okay, I've said this for years. I don't like our backsplash or countertop. They were here when we bought the house. Hopefully, next year sometime, we're gonna redo this kitchen, I'm hoping, because I just think it could be so much prettier if it was different, okay? And I'll probably end up painting the cabinets. Although I like this, they're not yellow, they're really pretty creamy, but they come across so yellow, so I think I wanna change that. All right, here's this little spatula. It says Old Snap. I think I picked it up at Walmart. I like to just set it right in here among all my other little pieces. I think it adds an extra flair to the decor. And I have some others, but I don't know what I do with it. Okay, let's go right here. I'm going in with this beauty. I love it. This was TJ Maxx a couple years ago. I think it is gorgeous. I'm gonna put it right here at an angle. I was gonna use this tree, but I don't know. Then I thought about maybe using this nutcracker and putting him right there for some extra height, I might do that. But this, these were ornaments from Hobby Lobby this year. You can repurpose and reuse these ornaments. I noticed that they would stand. So there's Santa and there's Mrs. Claus. They'll stand right there outside of that house. Is that not adorable? I love how sweet it looks. It looks like they live there. He has a house that was built that looks like that, and she bakes some kind of delicious cake. <laughs> All right, a couple more things, and then we'll be finished. Okay, I've decided I'm gonna put this little guy I've had for a long time from Hobby Lobby right outside this house. They're so happy. And this little girl, isn't she cute, little gingerbread girl? Okay. Now let's go to that little island peninsula that I have in here. I almost forgot I want to add these. These came from the Wonder Shop at Target this year. I'm gonna put this right in the center. I think that adds such a festive flair to that. And I'm gonna put another one right here on the dishwasher. Now let's go over here to the island. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this cutting board. It's longer, I'm gonna set it right here because we do use this part of the island a lot and I don't want, to, I want to be able to pick things up and move it. I've had this forever. Many of you may remember this. I think I picked it up at Michael's and then I just have some more of those cute little peppermint, they're really ornaments that I got at Walmart years ago. And I'm gonna go in with this adorable little nutcracker. He has peppermint down there. And he's been, he's a baker, okay? He's got his gingerbread cookies and his spoon. I'm gonna put him right here. And then this is the viral house from Target, okay? And I thought, oh, how fun. I was in TJ Maxx the other day and I saw these mini shortbread Christmas trees. And I thought that would be so cute to put them in here and maybe make it look like he had baked them. <laughs> These smell so good. I thought I would need two bags and I definitely did. And then I'll just put the little lid on it 
and they look so festive. And I thought I would go ahead and to make this a little more colorful and just add that there. And I think that's perfect. One more thing and we'll be finished. All right, I'm going back in with this wreath that I made years ago. I wanted a gingerbread wreath and couldn't find one that I liked, so I picked up a snowy wreath. And then these are all ornaments from Walmart a couple years ago, and I made a cute little funky bow. I think it is adorable. And I'm just gonna hang that on our laundry room door. Let's take a look at everything. Okay, if you stand here, this is what you see. So we'll come in here and look at this. Okay, this is how I'm decorating my kitchen in the gingerbread theme for Christmas this year. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some gingerbread decorating ideas. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Now let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby and she was just conked out on the couch. She said, I had just my, made my bed. Did you just have your bed made? I'm sorry. She said, hi, hello, say I love you. Say you're my bestest friends ever. So until next time, bye guys. Merry Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat on the show